welcome back so now we will simply just convert the latitude and longitude right towards the address and also we will do the reverse and all of the design has been completed as you guys can see right in here now we will jump right in the on tab event in here since it's asynchronous so in here we will write async okay and now in there we'll say list and then we'll say place mark now just click upon that place mark and you guys will notice the suggestion there we go okay import that library geocoding.dart dot and all is just fine as you guys can see the error has been gone if you guys just remove that and write R, there you go with the suggestion okay now we will give the name as place mark now in this place mark we will just assign what let me just write it first since it's asynchronous so we have to just write the function so in here we will say await until the final result will come so it will wait and then we will say place mark from coordinates as you guys can see suggestion at the top have that in here now what we will do we will just provide the latitude and longitude that we want to just convert it to the address so simply just open the browser google map and copy the latitude and longitude of any place in there I have already copied so I'll just paste it in here so in here I'll just remove that and place the latitude and longitude the coordinates there we go okay so write it in semicolon whenever we will just test the app you guys will notice the address for this coordinate specific now let's move further so we have to just get down in here we'll have a set stat since it's a start with widget so it will just change the result dynamically in here now first we will declare a string type variable right above above the widget pill in here what I'll do I'll just get this down from here and we'll say string gonna give the name as place mark so place and M will indicate the mark and we will pass the empty string for now now let's just get down right in the search thread so we'll have that plus M and we'll say then string then dollar sign in here then we say curly braces now in here as you guys can see on those curly braces we will just have that plus mark in which we just assign the coordinates okay plus marks as you guys can see we just assign that in this plus mark so now we will just use that plus mark in those curly braces we'll say plus mark and then we say dot reverse dot lost dot country we will show the country for this specific coordinates and also right after that we will just copy that for a time saving copy it and right after in here past it this time we'll say place mark reverse last dot locality we will show that in here okay now right at end what we will do put semicolon and all just fine and the last thing that we will do we will show this as a text right in here so for that purpose what we will do right in the children in here we'll say text widget in here and right inside that we'll say place m have that in here as a text now come here and just hold reload the app and we will just notice the result now come here and hit to convert there we go as you guys can see the country is Netherlands and the locality is in shade 
so like that you can just copy any coordinate from the Google map and just have it in here and it will tell you exactly that specific coordinates will belong to their place mark as I show you the result right in here now what I'll do I'll simply just convert that address as you guys can see right in here Netherlands and their locality we will just convert that and we'll show you the coordinates so for that purpose what we will do in here we'll say list and then we say location as you guys can see in here now we'll give the name as location and in this location we will just assign first let me just write it in here since it's asynchronous so we'll have that of it in here then we say location from address and in there we'll just provide the address so in here I'll just write the land as we just have it in here okay right on the screen the land and then also we will have the locality which is in sheet s h c h e d e right at and semicolon all just fine now what we will do we will have a string variable we'll just create that right down in here we'll say a string type in here gonna give the name as a address on screen gonna just have the empty string in here and now let's go down in here what we will do you will just take this down from here and we'll have that address on screen now in this string type variable we will assign so first in here we'll say string and then we'll say dollar sign in here curly braces now right in there we'll say location dot last dot longitude we'll get the longitude and also just copy that from here to here and paste it in here location lost and we will get the latitude in here for that specific address okay I did end semicolon and all just fine now come here and how to load the app so before just hitting that button let me just show you one more time first it will show us a coordinate for this specific address and also right after that we just show the place by the coordinates so they will be down below the specific address which belongs to that coordinate latitude and longitude now we will just go ahead and check it hit to convert in here we just see the address place mark for this latitude and longitude but we didn't see the coordinates for this specific address because we forgot to add in here and we will show it as a text in here so we will say text widget as we did for this specific place mark okay place m in here so in here text widget and in there we will say address on screen now how to load the app and also we will just notice the coordinates for this specific address now hit to convert there we go okay you guys can see that specific address in the light in sheet you guys can see the latitude and longitude right in here the latitude is right in here 52.221 and the latitude is right in here that's the longitude and that's the latitude and for the specific coordinate as you guys can see that one you guys can see the result right in here Netherlands and in sheet so 
it's working totally fine but we will do a little change right in here we will just remove the string from here and we will just add it in a one like that and also remove that string from here and also that one so it will be then just in a single string okay like that now how to load the app and let's check it again come here and hit to convert there we go so there is kind of space now okay let me just tell one more time <coughs> first in here for that specific location as you guys can see in here letter line and in shade we just show the latitude and longitude for this specific address as you guys can see right in the state state address on screen okay in this string type variable we just assign what this the longitude and the latitude okay and you guys can see that right in here and also that second one we just show the place mark for the specific coordinates as you guys can see the coordinates right in here okay and we show that and just assign right in the place M those country for the specific coordinates and also the locality and you guys can see that right down below in here we will just set the arrangement so that you guys just didn't get confused in it okay cut this from here that addressed on screen that one is for this one the address one and also for the place mark these coordinates we will show that down below in here as we cut it before in here past it like that okay and and if you guys want to solve the position for that latitude and longitude it will be just like that okay so or the thing is fine like that and all just fine in here or to load the app hit to convert there we go it's working totally fine now we will just test it with another specific coordinates and location so you guys will just have the clear idea now just open the google map open the browser we will copy the coordinate for this area okay right click copy that one and just go back to the android studio in here remove those coordinates from here and paste the other one that we just copied in here paste it so now also we will go and just have the address in here open the browser and search for Tokyo Japan coordinates okay as you guys can see that one okay now what we will do we will just copy the Tokyo Japan and we will go back in here we'll just pass it okay comma in here Tokyo and Japan now just come here and how to load the app hit to convert as you guys can see in here okay for Tokyo Japan you guys can see the coordinate right down in here and also for the specific coordinates that we copied from the Google map which is for Islamabad Pakistan and you guys can see that so it's working totally fine as we copied that Tokyo Japan and I have already showed the result right on the Google let me just show you one more time again so in here guys notice that 139.6 and also that one 35.6 that's the coordinate okay open the browser and in here you guys can see the Tokyo Japan coordinates okay 139.6 and 35.6 there we go and also if you go back towards the Google map we just copied the coordinate from here and you guys can see the result right in here Tokyo Japan the coordinates right down in here and it's totally working fine and also that specific coordinates that we copied from the google map for the Islamabad Pakistan and you guys can see that right in here 
so that's how you guys can convert the lat and longitude towards the address and also the address towards the longitude and latitude and one more thing guys in here for Tokyo Japan you guys can see that 139.6 right on the left side and the 35.6 right on the right side and if you guys open the browser the 35.6 is on the first and the 39.6 is on the second so what we will do for this purpose you will just swap the position from here cut this from here the longitude and pass it in here and in here you have the latitude all just fine now if you guys just want to load the app the position will be just fine now hit to convert there we go ok now 35.6 the latitude right on the left side and the longitude is right on the right side as you guys can see 139.6 so that's how you guys can change the latitude and longitude towards the address Pakistan Islamabad and also the address which is Tokyo Japan and you guys can see the coordinates for this specific address right in here and also you guys can show the postal code administrative area like that in here dot you guys can see the locality postal code country name administrative area and so on so you guys can also check that so basically that's it for this video and right from the next video we will work further so see ya then